Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin, Taurus. There is competition at work. Um, we'll get into that soon. I just want to talk about what I'm seeing here. And this is to do with your romantic life. And I feel that, you know, you've been quite open about your relationships. You've been um, careful in terms of who you want to spend the rest of your life with and who you want to spend you know, have to have a future with. Now, specifically for those of you who are single, currently I'm feeling that perhaps, yes, <clears throat> you would like to settle. It's not something that you would rule out as being an option. It's definitely an option you see for yourself. Um, but what I'm getting here is that someone is showing up here. <clears throat> they're not willing to leave something alone. This is somebody from your past and they're not taking no for an answer. <clears throat> Pardon me. Perhaps you thought things had ended between the two of you. Um, they still think about you. They've, they've got a lot to say. I will say that they've got a lot to say. A lot is coming through in terms of communication. I feel this is Aquarius energy. I do feel <clears throat> that if you are single, this person is coming back into your life because they want to start over and they want to start over with you. They believe in their heart of hearts that they have a lot to offer you. They have everything to give. And they're saying, I want to give it to Taurus. I want to give it to you. Um, I want to give this another shot at this relationship. What was once broken, we can fix it, is what I hear them saying. If it wasn't perfect, then let's try it again. Okay? And I do feel that somewhere in there you still have feelings for this person. I do feel that something is going to be revealed. And a past person does not mean they always should be left in the past. Sometimes people come back into our lives for a damn good reason. Now, I mentioned earlier that there is competition at work. I'd, I'm going to say that it. this is something that it might be that you have given yourself, you've put in the time and you've put in the effort and you've given yourself the opportunity to to do everything that you needed. You've given yourself a lot of time necessary where you've worked with other people at the same time to be able to manage this and to be able to invest in something new <clears throat> and I feel that there is one opportunity here presenting itself to you but then there's somebody else behind the scenes perhaps this individual is one step ahead because they know somebody that you know there's that saying it's not what you know it's who you know I mean some people really live by that um and as I said previously, you put in all this time and effort, you've made a name for yourself, and somebody else is jumping ahead in line. And, you know, you know this, this makes you mad to no end. This is, this is incredibly, um, uh, you know, it's annoying. You know, this is, this is sort of where some people are still living by this particular system. Some people do, um, some people are, are proud of, of, of that, where <clears throat> you actually have been putting the work in to, to get to where you are today. You've done all the, the hard work and you do know your stuff. So why should you be the last in line? Or at least it feels that way. Now, the for couples, I'll, <clears throat> I'll move on to couples here. For love, and if you are partnered, this week is all about spending really quality time together. You're, if, unless you're already doing this, but something about the both of you just moving on from the rest of the world, you know, you really, you don't want, nor you, do you need the interference. I feel that you are both, um, you know, bringing yourself to a really nice place. <clears throat> you're doing everything together. You're letting other people know, um, just the same. People can see that you're not losing sight of what this is, what this means to the two of you. And it might be that you're taking time away from crowds of people, friends. You're just spending some quality, good quality time together. And it's probably something you've needed for some time. This is about respect and it's about love and it's about um, a great bond, a de a, a, about a deepening, um, you know, connecting with one another, working on that relationship this week. Um, and you've been busy, both of you have been busy working, uh, <clears throat> working very hard, in fact. And, and at the end of the day, you both have each other. I think that's really lovely. You've come a long way. Thank you, Taurus.